Today we will talk about ureterorenal reflex. So what is basically ureterorenal reflex and why it occurs? This reflex, the ureterorenal reflex occurs when a ureter is blocked. Whenever a ureter is blocked, mostly due to a renal stone. For example, this is a ureter and it has been blocked. It has been blocked here due to a ureteral stone. Now, whenever such a blockage occurs in the ureter, and this such a blockage mostly occurs due to stones, due to renal stones, uh, which basically falls into the uh, ureter and gets stuck. Now, due to this blockage, there is intense constriction of the ureter. There is intense constriction of the ureter at the point at which the blockage has occurred. Now, we know that the ureter has been supplied by different nerves. We have discussed that there is uh, innervation of the ureters. And we know that there are pain fibers as well present in the ureter. So, there are pain fibers in the ureter as well. Now, when the ureter is blocked, there is intense constriction of the ureter to get rid of this blockage. Due to the constriction, there is intense pain. There is severe pain in the uh, body. And due to this pain, due to this pain, there is also constriction. There is also constriction of the arterioles or the blood supply to the nephrons basically decreases. We, we previously discussed the uh, blood supply of the kidney. So this is basically the blood supply of the kidneys. So at the level of arterioles, constriction occurs so that the blood flow, the blood flow to the nephrons decreases. Now we know that the blood normally comes and it gets filtered at this point, at this point in the glomerulus. And after filtration, the fluid basically moves through these tubules and it basically converts into urine. Now, when this ureteral ref renal reflex occurs due to obstruction in the ureter and due to intense constriction of the ureter, the constriction of arteriole occurs and due to which the blood flow to the kidneys decreases, blood flow to the glomeruli decreases so that there is less filtration at this point. There, so that there is less filtration at this point. If normal filtration keeps on occurring, then there is urine formation. Once the urine is formed at this point of the nephron, the urine enters into the minor calyces and from the minor calyces it enters the major calyces and pelvis and enters the ureter. So the purpose of the ureterorenal reflex is to decrease the formation of ureter and to decrease the formation of fluid that is coming into the ureter. So it is basically a decrease in the a fluid formation or decrease in the urine formation due to blockage of ureter. So that's all about the ureterorenal reflex. Thanks a lot for watching the video.